Hi friends, welcome to my another video. This is the part 4 video in series of form of construction for electrical panel. In last video, I covered what A denotes in the form of construction and what B denotes in form of construction. Apart from that, I discuss what is type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4 in form of construction. In this video, I will cover what is type 5, type 6 and type 7. At the end of this video, I will compare form 1, form 2, form 3 and form 4 panel. Apart from that, I will summarize the type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, type 5, type 6 and type 7. I will make a comparison between all these types. So let's start this video. So already I covered till type 4. So this video I will begin with type 5. As per type 5, type 5 the bus bar separation is by a metallic or non-metallic rigid barrier or partition. As we discuss in other types, we have seen the bus bar is separated from the functional unit through a rigid metallic or non-metallic barrier. This is the first point for the type 5. And the second point is that the terminals may be separated by insulated covering and the glanded in common cabling chamber. What does it mean? Let me explain this one. As we know, the external cable will come and connect to this functional unit R, Y, B and neutral. Same way for this one R, Y, B and neutral and same way for this functional unit R, Y, B and neutral. Here it is mentioned the terminals may be separated by insulating covering, insulated covering and glanded in a common glanding chamber. So, all the cable will come and it will be glanded in a common glanding plate. Okay. It will be covered in a common glanding plate. It will be glanded on a common glanding plate. But here there is one very important point that the terminals may be separated by the insulating covering. Okay. So, here you see there is an insulation between the terminals. Terminal to terminal, there is a phase barrier. If that would be the case, then this will be type 5 form of construction. This is very similar. This is very similar to the type 4 construction also. Or it is very similar to type 2 construction also. Here I said the bus bar separation is by metallic or non-metallic rigid barrier partition which is same as per type 5 also and the cable glands are elsewhere glanded. Here also the cable will external cable will come and will be glanded in a, in a common glanding plate. But the only difference is that between the terminals, here there will be R terminal, Y terminal, B terminal and between R to Y, Y to B, B to neutral, there will be a phase barrier in the type 5 of construction. So, that will differentiate type 5 with the other type of a form of construction. Now, let us take an example of type 6. All separation required by a metallic or non-metallic rigid barrier or partition. Same as type, type 5. The bus bar is separated from the functional unit by a rigid metallic or non-metallic partition or barrier. Cables are glanded in a common glanding chamber. Here also the cables are glanded. The external cable will come for this uh, functional unit and it will be glanded it will be glanded on a common glanding plate so what is the 
difference in type 6 with other type here there is one point to be noted that here the terminals will be in a separate compartment okay but in type the termination is in the same compartment of the functional unit okay but the terminals to terminals there will be a phase barrier r will come here and terminate here y will come here and terminate here blue will come here and terminate here and yellow will come and terminate here and this will be there will be a barrier phase barrier but in type 5 type 6 there is not required phase barrier because it is already terminated in a separate compartments hope you are clear now as per the type 7 all separation requirement are by metallic or non metallic rigid barrier or partition here you see all the separation between the functional unit to functional unit bus bar to functional unit is all by metallic and non metallic rigid barrier and partition first point second point the terminals termination of each functional unit has to be in its own integral glanding facility what does it mean in all other cases we seen that the glanding is done on a common glanding plate in type 6 we notice that the glanding is done on a common glanding plate in type 5 we also seen the glanding is done on a common glanding plate in type 4 also it is mentioned cable may be glanded elsewhere meaning it will be glanded in any common glanding plate in type 3 also the function in type 3 and type 7 there is a similarities in type 3 we seen what we have seen that the termination for each functional unit has its own integral glanding facility here the cable will come external cable r y b and neutral but the glanding of the cable will be here itself the glanding of the cable will be here itself for this cable also r y b and neutral cable will, co will come but the glanding will be here itself not in the common glanding plate but the difference in type 7 and type 3 you will notice that the gland there is no separate compartment for the termination but if we will see the type 7 we have find there is a separate compartment for the termination but same like type 3 there is a glanding facility glanding facility near each functional unit okay so this is all about type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 type 5 type 6 and type 7 i know all are very much similar to each other but if you will watch this video one or two time then you will get to know the idea what is type 1 what is type 2 what is other types hope you are hope you will be clear with this now let us compare what is the comparison between form 1 form 2 form 3 and form 4 so let's start this topic we already covered all forms in part 1 and part 2 video here in this video last part we will summarize what is the comparison between them for form 1 there is no separation at all in between the bus bar to functional unit functional unit to functional unit there is no separation terminals to terminals there is no separation in form 2 there is one separation only what is that separation separation is in between the separation is in between the functional unit and the bus bar i will zoom it so you will clearly see that one in function in form 2 the only there is one separation that is in between the bus bar and functional unit in form 3 of course it will cover form 2 so as form 2 plus it is mentioned so there will be a separation between functional unit and bus bar okay 
apart from that there will be a separation between the functional unit so this point will add here so in form 3 there will be a separation between functional unit and bus bar apart from that there will be separation between functional unit to functional unit in form 4 it is a add on on form 3 so it will cover what it will cover there will be form 4 will cover there will be a separation between bus bar and functional unit there will be separation between functional unit to functional unit apart from that the terminals for the external cables conductors are separated from each other 